This video forms part of a series to include its instrument setup, um, functions and applications. What we're looking at here is the unpacking of the instrument, its component parts and how we set the instrument up in its first stage. So we're going to unpack. It's inclusive of power cable. Instrument headset, power converter, syringes, tubing lines, handbook, additional syringe, yeah, advanced applications pack and our hand grips, which we'll look at in a moment. So here we have the instrument. Um, first of all we need to uh, connect the power supply and then introduce the uh, syringes into the uh, syringe drives and the valves. So first of all we'll take the power supply Power supply fits into a port on this side here. So now we have the power supply fitted to the unit and now we're going to connect the headset. The headset comes complete with an Ethernet cable which connects to the back of the instrument, the headset. So and then connects to the back of the instrument in its assigned port here. Remove the film from the top of the display. So what we're going to do now is fit the uh, syringes to the instrument. Um, the Hamilton syringe juice has been specifically designed to actually fit with their valves to have a bubble-free format. Each syringe comes with an instruction sheet for the bubble-free prime syringes, um, showing the appropriate way to assemble and install in the instrument. Okay, so we're going to put the plunger into the syringe barrel, first wetting out the tip in some deionized water. So, and then once it's actually in, we can move the plunger up and down the syringe a number of times, Hamilton suggests 10 times, just to ensure a smooth movement of the plunger into the syringe. It's conditioning the tip into the syringe barrel. Okay, well, once we've actually done this, we can now um, introduce the syringe to the valve. Lightly secure the top to the valve itself, and then we depress on the plunger to bring it back into line with the foot plate and the screw connection on the bottom of the syringe. Once we're secured on the bottom of the plunger correctly, now we do not more than one eighth turn on the top to ensure that the uh, syringe is fitted correctly to the valve. 
We're now repeating this exercise with the one mil syringe here. I'm getting smooth movement of the plunger in the barrel. And now we can secure to the valve. And again, or an eighth turn to tighten it securely. We're now going to assemble the component parts for the uh, Concord hand probe and the tubing line. Okay, so we've got to unpack and assemble the tubing management assembly. Firstly, we need to fit the small fittings to allow the assembly to be connected to the housing. Firstly, put the O-ring on, followed by a small separator. Off turn. The management system actually fits into the small slots, which clicks into the back of the unit. Okay, so now we're going to fit the bracket to the instrument. It locates into the small fittings here and presses down locks into position. The unit allows us to manage the tubing lines and the tubing can be fitted in, as you'll see shortly, by applying pressure to the a grip, moving sideways, and this actually allows us to feed the tubing line into the side here and also the management of tubing through this side. First. This part of the assembly allows us to um, support the tubing line uh, to hold it in an appropriate position. Okay. Now we're going to assemble the Concord grip and uh, install the tubing line. The Concord hand probe comes complete with instructions regarding the assembly of the tubing line and the component parts. So we're going to put in and feed in the tubing line that actually supports the sample tube. sample tube can be seen by virtue of the fact it has a tapered tip. The tapered tip is passed through the tubing management system on the Concord cable. Okay, the tubing can be uh, pushed through the assembly and then adjusted to the length you require and then gently tightening the fitting just so it's holding it secure not over tightening just enough to secure it okay now we're going to fit the tubing line uh, and the probe to the valve firstly we're connecting the probe into its input so and then quarter 28 fitting screw connector to the front of the valve Finger tight again. Once that's secured, we're adjusting the lengths. Now we're going to place the tubing line through the tubing management system. This is done by simply depressing the side, placing the tubing in. Once that's secured, it's holding our tubing line. Tubing lines are actually placed through the top part of the management system.
Okay, so now we can fit the filling tubing. As part of the system, we used two small tubing grips, which allows you to keep the tubing line in your solution whilst in use, so it pushes through the small gap. So the SD card can be fitted. This is installed on the side of the instrument headset. Once it's installed, you can turn power onto the device. And once completed, we can begin the prime sequence to purge the fluid line. Once initialized, the display actually shows language options. So we've selected English and then going to the main menu. So the first thing we need to do with the instrument is configure uh, the device for the appropriate syringes and valve positions we wish to use. So configuration for the hardware comes from here. Now we have the options to select syringe, valve, the trigger port and button map mapping. In syringe, if we highlight this, we can see its default is showing us 5 mils. Now here I have a 10 mil syringe and a 1 mil syringe. So I'm going to select those. I'm using a scroll bar. We can move to showing the 10 mil syringe. Accepting here. Here, the right syringe, we have a 1 mil syringe. 1,000 microliters. And selection here. As part of this, we have the options to change the flow rate. Its default at the moment is going to be suitable, but we actually show the options for the flow rates to be adjusted, which give us a fast, um, medium, and slow, or fast recommended and slow. We're currently in its recommended format. Here, we're going to select the valve configuration we require. In this case, we're going to select the dual diluter format. Other options we can choose are dual dispenser and continuous dispenser formats. So we're going to conduct the priming sequence. Firstly, you need to actually get the probe actually um, positioned to waste. Using the prime button here, and drawing fluid into the syringes, and at this stage we can check the points are all gas tight. The prime sequence can be carried out using the function in utilities here, which shows the prime sequence. This allows us to select the number of cycles we want to prime for and looking at the speeds we're driving at. So here we can select from here we are on a slow speed up to the faster speeds, which is fine. And then we can select the number of cycles we want to run to. So here I'm going to set to um, three cycles and initialize this as a program. So we press process and now it will complete three cycles of the syringes to see that we are degassing the fluid line. We can now go back in the menu program to look at the options for running the system.